2020 going on 4 30 in the afternoon just trying to mow a little here and there the rain runs me off the tomatoes are starting to play out now i need to come in here and pick some more on the way up uh, i'm gonna go ahead and pick this cabbage i let the grass go around it because these were transplanted so not really a big deal the uh, squash on the left is played out um Got to get down here and fertilize my uh, comp piece. It's on this row right here. And these are my uh, four, four cook lima beans, or Ford hook, I'm sorry. Yeah, I need to get down here and get these fertilized. Okra is really tall, it's chest high. And I'm just now getting a lot of blooms. I'm fixing to have to watch it close now. And since my squash is played out over there, my yellow summer squash, I've already got everything off of it. The worms over there, the green caterpillars, they seem to be a few of them just coming over hitting my uh, okra here. But I don't know how this is the first time I've ever seen them, these worms or anything like this hit okra. I guess maybe, but they don't seem to be chewing on anything. I think they just escaped from over there where I dusted them down, although I don't like doing that. I think they just come over here and they're not eating on it. They're actually flipping the leaves and they're pupating. Yeah, see I got blooms down in there. Yeah, the okra looks really good. Everything's looking pretty good. There's one of those caterpillars right there. The same. Got rid of him. Yeah, they, like I say, they're... I don't see really where they're cutting on the leaves or anything. I think they're just escaping from over there, coming over here. I'm fixing to till that under anyway. Yeah, working down to feed the chickens. I see a bunch of little white moths in there. You see them? I've never seen them before. That must be the ones making the caterpillars. They must be hatching out over there. Yeah, you see them flying around, running. They're all over the place. I hope they don't damage my okra. They've been pretty rough. The weather's been really hot. So, yeah, they're flying all over the place. I think that's what it is. They're hatching out. Hopefully. See down in here. See, there's a pupa right there. I think that's what it is. I think. Get rid of I think that's what it is. I think they're just hatching out. I don't think they're going to attack the okra. Like I say, I just don't see much attacking okra. Very, very little have I seen other than bug bites or something here and there. I don't see any damage, really. Yeah, I've got a lot of leaves to bring down here, too, to put between these rows. Got to get out here and rake them, but it is, like I say, it is... It is rainy season. Uh, rain pretty well rains every day, so you have to kind of get out early in the morning. I tend to be a late evening person. I like to get out here when it's hot, morning in the day. I know it would be better if I would get out here in the mornings. Coming down to feed the chickens, hoping for some eggs. We're gonna see what we got. All right, we got a lot of small cabbage heads. I got a bunch of them on the fridge that we're about to clean up, uh, cut up, blanch up, and put them away in quart freezer bags. I should get, probably should get about six or seven quarts out of these, with what's in the fridge, if not, maybe eight. All these cabbage heads come out of the garden. They didn't really get any size to them. I went ahead because the heat. I went ahead and harvested everything to put away so that way nothing gets wasted. But this time of year in Florida, it's just being in July, it's just so hot that it'll just cook them down. So I'm gathering whatever I can. I can't survive the, the heat. Oh, I just fixed I just picked my first batch of okra this morning. So I still got a lot of little ones out there. So I'm finally starting to see a few results. So we're back in business. So Mike took care of the very nature of the plant. We built an alternator.
here on out, I got to be careful and make sure I just don't run out of fuel. It was a monster this time trying to find it. I let it run a little while. I'm building up my battery good and everything. Yeah, I'm going to need my winch. I need this tractor to pull my tree trunk down when I get it cut. Well, my okra production starting to pick up. This is my second batch. And I'm going to cut these up. I'm going to put them in the, freezer, in the freezer in bags so I can have some okra and tomato for later on. Well, we had our routine twice a day rain. Uh, on my right, right here, that's my lima beans. I've got to do another round of fertilizer on those. Uh, yesterday, I did get these fertilized. These are my comp peas. A lot of people call them cow peas. But they're looking pretty good. Got them all taken care of. I'm going to have to run my tiller between the rows, I think, on this uh, on the lima beans here before I try to get rid of all the weeds and everything and fertilize it. I'll have to do it pretty quick this week before the grass outruns me. But yeah, it's uh, my okra's doing good. I've been getting okra steady. Uh, yeah, it looks like I might have to clip an okra here pretty quick. I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow. Go after it, let them get a little bigger. I've been keeping them steady picked. You gotta watch them because they'll outrun you really fast. They'll be too big in a day if you don't watch them because we're getting a lot of rain, so you can see plenty of sizes in there. Oh, there's a big one down there. It's already gotten big. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and harvest that. I gotta harvest this one. Yeah, these just got big like overnight, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and cut these. Yeah, see, these has got pretty big. This is just overnight. They were real tiny yesterday. But being here in Central Florida, uh, the with the rain coming down, these things love water because they, they make them grow like crazy in the heat. They love the, the heat in the 90s. So, yeah, we can go along. You can see i got a lot of them. I'm going to walk it out real good. Working my way down to feed the chickens. Yeah, I'm seeing quite a few here and there, so definitely gonna have to go through it. Cut some more out. Definitely seen quite a few. Golly, just overnight they've done got so big. They were just, they weren't even an inch long yesterday. And now I got a bunch of them. It's amazing. All I do is just wash them off real good because I don't use pesticides. I'll slice them up, quarter inch, half inch, whatever. And then I just put them in freezer bags and stack them up as I go and fill the bags up in the freezer. Yeah, I'll have quite a few. Well, there we go. That's how much I've been getting a day. Got quite a few. Just adding up to a lot of okra because I've been picking it now. I've been made about four or five rounds, I guess. So yeah, it's, uh, you get some pretty good results. I can't complain. Well, I got my trailer all set up and my chipper shredder is all set up. I'm processing limbs, collecting up the chips into the bag there, and I'm putting it in my little cart, put in the greenhouse. It's working really good, separating the big stuff. Gonna have me a little fire down there shortly. Got it all attached to my UTV so I can move it around, make it mobile. Yeah, I just filled it up. Whacking up a little here and there, picking up all over the yard. Been going in, starting on my greenhouse. Got some weed eating and stuff to do. But look at this, look at these chips, man. Look at those chips. Awesome. That's going to go in here in my grow bins. I got to finish cleaning this out um yeah i'm about to take those old tomatoes out i took the green ones off gonna fry those up took out my purple potatoes gonna use those for more seed i do have more of those and of course those chips are gonna go in here um yeah that's my uh, uh ginger right there it's really growing good it almost looks like a little cane it loves it in here um and you're supposed to leave it at least a year before it's even pretty good for you go to digging on it but yeah i gotta take these tomatoes out i'm gonna use those green tomatoes too and fry them up so i have a lot of them for dinner tonight and like i say compost is or chips are going all in this and i got some more planters for back there and i gotta finish putting this 
walk through in here and I gotta pull all the grass and stuff out and clean everything. But yeah, it's it's gonna work out pretty good for me. He's not scared of us. He's, still, he's catching rats. I'm amazed Diddy did not see him at all, and I walked by him too. He's doing his job. I'm leaving him be. I only have a 10% chance of rain, and I got my pile down. I'm going to go down there at the end of the garden and get my fire started. And I've got a whole wheelbarrow full of chips and compost there. And shredded up stuff, good to go. So I'm gonna run this down and try to get a fire going. Here we go. Took my split ax, cut me a piece of fat lighter, threw a little bit of lighter fluid on, getting her started. I got a lot of trash here and there I need to burn. I'm just gonna have a small fire and just keep putting it on there. I don't want nothing big. Just steady burn and get rid of wood. And I'll probably carry it on into the night too. Well, it's three o'clock, hottest part of the day. I'm uh, go ahead and running my irrigation because uh, today it's, it's pretty hot and really no chance of rain. I got my fire running back there behind the garden. Still getting grinding and uh, getting everything set up. And I dumped another, that bag where I was grinding earlier. I filled up this cart. Busy getting everything put in the greenhouse. Like I say, I had to stop because I was noticing a little bit of wilt trying to happen on my uh, comp piece out there so yeah we're letting her rip I got to check the uh, okra again this afternoon for dark I'm sure there's going to be some more in there big enough and, and I put away a lot of them that I got from yesterday and put them in the freezer sliced them up I'm still grinding taking a break a minute I'm down to this right here taking the big stuff off separating it I think when I get this ground up I'll pick up some more big stuff around and take it down there and get it going good but enjoy me a coke out here taking a break under the shade tree and her moke overlooking everything and uh like i say it's probably about 92 93 not bad you got a nice breeze blowing but so far so good well no chickpeas yet no blooms yet they're looking good my uh lima beans i haven't I've just neglected them. I just, they're not doing that well. I'm not gonna worry about them. A lot of work, too much to go in after them again. My okra, I've done made about, oh, I guess eight or nine rounds of picking. They're the height of my head now. All the way down, pretty much. Really tall and they're still steady blooming. Getting a pretty good amount on them now. Quite a bit in the freezer. Well, I've been picking so much okra out of the garden. I've done slice and frozen so much. That now I'm going to slice and I'm going to put them in the dehydrator. And that way I can put away 
uh, all of the extra I've got, and that way I've, I've, I'll have a long-term storage. Uh, this is my first round of actually dehydrating okra, so I'm going to get started on this now. Well, it looks like I got enough to pretty well lay out three solid trays. So tray number one is ready to go in the dehydrator. The harvesting of my okra still continues. Uh, I've done put away a lot in the freezer, and now I'm dehydrating it. And we're going to store this away in some vacuum bags for long term. Well, you can see how it's come out. Ronnie's out about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a lot of okra. But by dehydrating it, it takes up very little space, and when you rehydrate it, you're good to go. I've taken out the okra out of the dehydrator. This is parchment paper, just makes it a lot easier. And I'm going to transfer everything to this bag, and the purpose for the bag is to protect the uh, plastic while it's under a vacuum from any sharp edges to poke through so that it doesn't lose any vacuum from a puncture. So we're going to go ahead and fill two bags up with what I have and then we're going to vacuum it. Well I put the bags in two separate portions here and I have my desk in there that will keep everything dry under the vacuum. So it doesn't look like much but these, this is a large amount of okra so I separated the portions on it for storage. It'll make quite a bit when you rehydrate it. And these are excellent with tomato and season it with some smoked pork on the stove, make a good stew out of it. And of course you want to put some Valdez I grew in the garden in there too. I dehydrated those also. So yeah, we're going to vacuum it up now. Okay, it's all done sealed. It's under a good vacuum. It's going to stay dry. This vacuum will protect it. I'll put it in a dark, cool place. And it'll keep long term till I need it. Well, I think it's time to go ahead and till in the grass a little bit in the garden. I'm going to start putting organics in here from out of my pond. In nice, and then I'll, I'll go back and I'll uh, till it in again. I just don't want the grass getting away from me. I'm going to go ahead and kill in my uh, um, my lima beans there, the light color ones, because I didn't take care of them, so it's not worth pulling with. I've got my conch peas, or cow peas, and of course my okra. Everything else is going to go. I'm just trying to keep everything managed. All right, here we go. The trick is not to cut the okra. Hold on, we got to put her in here.
Uh, I didn't take this in real hard yet because I want to. I got a bunch of leaves and a bunch of organics and stuff debris I want to throw in here and till that in on the next round when I till it in good to let it break in. Got to clean around the sprinklers a little bit. I uh, got to run my hand tiller down the edge of this row, straighten it out a little bit. So far, no rain. It is rainy season. 70% chance of rain today. We did have a sprinkle from a little cloud while I was tilling. Yeah, this is a lot better. A lot cleaner. 